You guys stand in the hallway of the Onyx Rose. Waiting. Which way would you like to go? Would you like to head straight to the black market? Did you want to go back and check in with um, Jenkins uh, on the wheelchair that is being built for him? Did you want to go somewhere else completely entirely and uh, maybe try and track down a name that you've seen on one of your side quests or something else? You got about two days until he said he's going to blow the black market. What do you guys want to do for the two days that we have? Well, I think that it might be crucial to, uh, at the very least, check out the back market and have an idea of how we're going to go in so we can uh, infiltrate the price. Uh, but we should also check up on Jenkins and then maybe a couple other things. But I feel like the time-sensitive thing is about uh, checking out the black market as quickly as we can before it's no longer able to be done. Copy that. Do you guys remember the name the of the contact he said that he had? The rat folk that he said? I don't know if he told us a name. Yeah, he mentioned okay. a name. It was kind of in passing because you guys were all arguing. Um, but he did mention that there was a rat folk they did contact with in there um, that he could help oh. you with. Named Shakes. One that you've met before. Oh, that's right. You've met Shakes oh. in Neo Taurus. Yeah. The yeah. underground, um, he's kind of like a roboticist slash black market prosthetics dealer. Mm -hmm. And you met him in uh, Neo Taurus. He, you kind of told him you were leaving town and um, you talked a little bit about Drudgemore and then uh, you left Neo Taurus. And uh, seems like he has, in your time that you've been traveling, he has made his way here as well, um, which makes sense. Being a black market um, dealer, he probably travels around and goes to all the sewers of the different cities to sell his wares. So he's probably back home. This is probably where he's from. Okay. Uh, we we could meet with Shakes and uh, maybe acquire some things. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, so, we'll start making our way down that way and making our way towards Shakes. All right. So you guys make your way into the inner city. The center of the city is different than where you guys have been at. It begins to smell really bad. Um, like feces. Like death. Like plague. Like disease. And as you head into the center of the city, you start to see more people who look like they live in disease and feces. Um, these people seem French. centralized and all around are these like different locations with these really bright names comparatively to the smell and the things you're seeing. You see these names like Rainbow Ridge Orphanage. You see a, a place called uh, Hospital of the Gods with these bright golden windows. Hmm. You see all these different places in the center of the city that look like they don't belong compared to the people. Maybe the people don't look like they belong, but the buildings and the people clash, especially the designs of these buildings. They're more modern. They have unique architecture, bright colors, strange names, a lot of glass. But then you have this reeking smell of old timey flesh and, um, it's just, it clashes quite a bit. You see a lot of people sitting on the street corners. A lot of people sleeping up against buildings. Nobody inside these buildings, like, no, no, none of these people that look, you know, more poor, they don't seem to be going inside these buildings, just sleeping outside them. A lot of them, and you don't see anyone really coming in and out very often. You stop for a second and see... A uh, lady kind of dressed like a nun come out of one of the orphanages with a child and holding his hand. The little child looks up at the, the, the nun that he's kind of standing next to. She nods her head and he shakes his head. She nods her head and he shakes his head. And then she lets go of his hand and he reaches for her and she slaps him across the face and then pushes him out into the street. 
closes the door on Rainbow Ridge Orphanage. Such is the life of an orphan. The kid's crying. He's Nothing fallen we can into do a, about it. He's fallen into what looks like like a feces and dirt like puddle. Ew. Bros, don't approach him. I don't want him to touch us. You know our kids are with their grubby hands and do we see the nightly stare. hollows around ready to collect him up? As you're looking around, you don't see anyone in particular coming out at the moment. Mm -hmm. But um you have your what what is your guys' current like demeanor? As you're walking through here, you kind of stand out a bit. Um you got a big lion following you. You, um, you're not, you don't look poor necessarily. You don't look impoverished. So how are you guys walking through here? Are you saying anything to anybody? You just imagine there's a lot of different races all around, a lot of different types of people, but they all seem very impoverished and, and not very well off. Thin, eaten, dirty. No one's talking to you. My thought of like Zim's look is like, if you approach me, I will kill you type of thing. Like we're, I'm like, like kind of like that gang mentality. Like mm -hmm. you don't walk up to me. You have no mm -hmm. right and you don't deserve to walk up to me. A few people even look away or back away from you. Like they scoot back towards the buildings that they're sleeping next to. As you're walking by. Yeah. An old timey looking car kind of drives through this area. It uh, looks like a one of those like 1920s detective cars, you know, with like a curvy fronts, and um, it's even got a little sign on the top that says police, and it rolls up next to the kid who just fell into the puddle. Um, one of the doors opens, and a large half-orc with tattoos all over his body in a police uniform steps out, comically large compared to the, the car that he's that he's driving in. And as he gets out, his large tusks kind of protrude from his bottom jaw. And he looks down at the child and then looks back at you all. What are you looking at? I'm just going to walk along like I didn't see anything. Yeah, that's right. He uh, kneels down to the kid Picks him up and kind of dusts him off. Roll me a perception check, everybody. Nice. You guys are carrying me with your rolls. I appreciate it. Hmm. I'll do a lot of talking and not a lot of walking today, I think. <laughs> All right. I like it. Um... With those perception checks, Nara and Zim, you get a good look at this guy. He's got similar tattoos to you, Zim. Um, he's wearing a police officer's uniform, even a cap. Uh, he seems in charge, large and in charge. Um, looking really closely, Nara, you can actually see on his badge, just as he was kind of like halfway turned towards you, you could see on his badge that it said Sheriff's Deputy. And he picks the kid up, kind of throws the kid over his shoulder, and puts him into the back seat of the cop car. And gets in. Turns it on. And drives away. Making a sharp right turn. So the sheriff is even also corrupted. Is that what's going on? Uh, everything in, the, is, in this city is corrupted, Nara. Oh, that's unfortunate. Like, who would want to roll over this place? I mean, kind of. Uh, it's corrupted, but everyone knows it's corrupted versus Neo Taurus, which is corrupted, but no one knows it's corrupted. You know that it's corrupted. You know the rules to play by you don't know you're just being taken advantage of mm. all right 
Well, are we, are we, we're going into the black market? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, you're finding an entrance into the sewers if that's what you want to do. Okay. Also, I was trying to, I was trying to like, I mentioned earlier, are we sure that he's not going to, like, I feel like we're being set up and I think we need to be careful because I think that even though he said he would wait, I don't think he will. I mean, that's why I wanted to go quicker rather than later. Okay. Well, I, 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 I have a feeling he's going to do it ASAP as soon as like we get down there. Maybe. Okay. I mean, there's not, we either don't go down the at all or we try to stop him from exploding things, but everyone thought I was crazy mistrusting him. So I didn't think you were crazy mistrusting him. All right. So. Okay. Well, I continue on, I guess. Yep. Get right, in and out as quick as we can and, uh, you know, go from there. Sounds good. Okay. Give me a second here. Okay. Oh my God. I just realized what the sausages at that butcher shop were made out of. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no. no. What? Oh no. The pig. What? Oh, that cop was related to the butcher shop guy. Come on. What do you mean? Oh no. What do you mean? What do I mean? The butcher shop guy who yeah. didn't sell pork. What I know what he sells. What does he sell? He sells, no. little he sells little babe. He sells wee little orphans. -uh, he sells orphans. No. Oh, I was an orc. I was an orc and then a pig guy. Frick. Lie. Never mind. There's no yeah. way. I just, they are so similar in my head. They're so similar. Wow. Darn. Oh my Problematic. God. Only Commander was more descriptive with um, his NPCs. I mean, I'd obviously yeah. would just. That would make more sense, I think. That would make more sense. I'm going to blame I'm going to blame you for this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my orc pig man. Um, insensitivities so due to my dm oh my god we should work on that where do you think he's taking should we even we shouldn't get involved we're gonna change the world when we go back in time anyways so it'll be fine I maybe honestly don't think it's worth our time <laughs> it kind of felt like i don't know did you feel like a pull to that like like a call to action almost there in that situation like should we have done something yeah i know should it sounds like something? i'm agreeing with when with my silence but i'm not i'm just thinking Okay, so here's the problem with doing something for every little thing. We are on a scale of world domination to one child. You can't do both because there's a limited quantity of resources and time that we have. Okay, so as awful as it is, and it doesn't make us good people by saying the greater good, because we're not good people for allowing injustices by default. That makes us not good people. But... We're trying to make a difference in something that we know we can make a difference on. And that's all we can really do. I guess in the end, all of the little things don't really matter. I mean, they do. So we don't really know what's going to happen when we go back in time. I, I just mean we have bigger fish to fry. Yeah. I, I just think that's a cop out for us saying that we're not going to do things. That us ignoring that child makes us bad people. I want you to know that. We're not good people by doing that. In what way does that make us bad people? Because we have the ability to change something, but we choose not to. Because we're preoccupied with something that we claim is bigger. Yeah, but your definition of bad is based off of morality. Whereas another definition like, you know, not doing something because our new bigger fish to fry is a bigger decision to make. I mean, that's just they're just too arbitrary... Oh. You know, basis of bad like, people can still do good uh, things. Yeah, but it's it all depends on your definitions of good and bad. I mean, those are just two arbitrary definitions of what two people would define as your morality. Are you a good person if you help every little person that seems to be in trouble, or are you a good person if you focus on the task at hand that is like saving the world? Right. I feel and like I don't, and, and I don't sound like I don't mean to make that sound like one is more important than the other. I just mean yeah. like those are just two different. I'm you just saying, I mean, if like you see are... an injustice in the world and you let it go by without doing anything, I feel like maybe that makes you a, a bad person. Maybe, maybe the cop was adopting him. You know what I mean? Maybe they, maybe that's his dad. <laughs> was the kid, Commander, was the kid kicking and screaming when he was put into the car? Like, was the kid like... He, he seemed defeated. He kind of had the thousand yard stare. Of course, but at the end of the day, what, how fun. would we help? A child what are we gonna do with a child they would almost yeah. certainly be killed with us so all i'm saying is i don't have to justify my actions underneath some concept of i'm a good person i don't 
don't think I'm a good person. I thought that you thought you were a good person. No, not really. Like I said, I let that kid just get taken by the Midnight Hollows. I was a cop. No, he had tattoos. He probably works at the Midnight Hollows, the same kind as mine. They're probably going to torture the kid by putting the tattoos on him for many years. So I didn't know it was a Midnight Hollows. I thought it was a cop. That's why I didn't get involved. Did you see that it was a Midnight Hollows? It was both. It was both. Well, but Midnight Hollows. So kinda... the way to know if someone is like a Midnight Hollows member, it's pretty obvious if I say that they are covered in tattoos from like head to toe. That's that's how you would know. Yes, okay. um, I would have blown him up, dude. Next the time heck? I can try and say um, tattoos like Zim. No, I'll pay more attention. No, I won't miss it. Don't worry. These hands won't. These hands won't miss that. We see a gang member. I don't care what job they got. Chef. Is Cop, is by going you know I mean? back in time, it does erase things, but there is a chance that it doesn't. We just create a different timeline, and this time keeps flowing, and then that time keeps flowing. It's very complicated. I mean, if we go back in time and kill that, that work cop guy, I mean, that kid maybe won't get taken. Maybe they get taken by another person. What if we kill all the Deathly Midnight Hollows, whatever the heck? The Deathly Hollows. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I mean, you'd have to kill all the gangs inside Dredgemore, not just the Deathly Hollows. What if we just got rid of Dredgemore? Ooh, that's a, there's an idea. What are they it talking about, like Nora? What? Your hellhound is uh, speaking with you. What do you mean, what are they talking about? I don't understand their language. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what? You probably smell children, and I don't want you a part of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that orphanage is looking mighty tasty. You know what? You, you you know what? Why don't you go for like the uh, people that are like trying to fight us instead of small children? Mm, yes, yes. At when are we going to fight? Um. Yes. No, I don't know. Never. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully not soon, but you know, you never know. <laughs> Probably in the next couple of minutes. By our luck. I smell something. What? As he says that, uh, everyone roll me a perception check. <clears throat> Nara, you can get advantage because uh, he's kind of signaling to you. Okay. All right. Um, so everyone can smell this. You smell... A bit of smoke coming up from one of the sewer drains that you're walking next to. Mm -hmm. And Zim and Nara, um, specifically that smoke is mixed with the smell of like burning flesh. Uh, oh. Um, well, we didn't hear like an... <gasps> okay. Um, we didn't hear like an explosion, did we? Did, they, did he set the bombs off already? There was no explosion. Definitely no explosion. What are we thinking? Should we lift up this? Should we lift up this? Would I have any idea of what that is? You're not sure, but uh, you can roll me a history check. Okay. If you want to try and think back through your oh. mind. Nothing to remember. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Do you want to check it out, Nora? I don't know. What if we go down there and we melt? I feel, I feel like we need some precautions. Um, cool. Don't step on anything hot. What if it's like a gas? Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't I, I Do you want to check it out or not? I mean, I guess we have to. Yeah. I mean, like, well, I mean, I don't know. Is that where the market is? I, oh, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, let's Let's go look. Can we start making our way that way? Yeah, so it was coming out of like a sewer uh, manhole cover that you were walking by. Mm -hmm. So you could try lifting that manhole cover if you want to try and go down directly there. Or you could look for the entrance it? to the black market, which if you would like, you can roll me a specific history check with advantage to try and remember oh. where that is. 17? Yeah. 
Um, you can remember that the entrance to where the sewers are, the entrance to like where the rat folk want you to enter is kind of near the um, like middle northern district of the city. And it's like this, it's kind of this spiral hill that goes down into a sewer drain. Oh, this might be a uh, leading to the black market, but not the entrance we might not want to take. Because the rat folk have kind of designated you enter here. Entering anywhere else is kind of bad form. Let's go to the entrance. All right. Uh, can I start uh, rushing us? Well, I don't say rushing, but like a fast, brisk walk. Yeah. As you are approaching the area of the city where you're trying to get to, uh, you notice there is nobody else, like like the, the homeless population, the poor population has dispersed from this area. And you start to hear like small noises of like what sound like screams. And then you see kind of running around the corner of one of the buildings, you see a looks like a female rat folk um, with blood kind of covering like her arm. She looks like she's bleeding profusely. Uh, and like she's been cut somehow. Her fur is all matted. And she goes around the corner of one of the buildings like, <laughs> and, like off into the distance. She's about 200 feet away from you around the corner. And she's leaving from where the entrance is, where you remember the entrance to be. Does she have any like soot or anything on her? Um, not, uh, roll me a, roll me a perception check. I was going to say not from what you can see just in that brief moment, but we'll see what your perception is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's like, there's like some soot on her clothes. Um, I feel like there's a slight chance maybe those bombs did go off. They didn't hear any explosion. I'm back. No, Definitely did not hear. You guys would have known. Uh, maybe they're she's covered in soot though, which is very bombs. odd. Hmm. Maybe, maybe they were duds. Maybe. Uh, maybe we should hurry and go take a look. We better investigate. Okay. As you approach the where the entrance is, you start to hear those sounds of like screams and and uh, noise rustling coming from inside here. Um, but you also hear like this dull musical sound, like there's like like loud like music being played as well. Mm -hmm. um, from deep within the, the market. And around the front, like as you're looking into the entrance, there is some little bits of smoke coming out of the entrance. And every once in a while, you see kind of a shadow behind this um, this doorway that the entrance has. Um, but from behind you, as you're looking at it, you hear, Hey! Hey! As you're looking at it, you turn around and you see a, a rat folk with this kind of silvery brown hair hiding behind a dumpster in an alleyway kind of looking at you, looking inside. And he's about mm, 20 or 30 feet behind you. Hey! Hey! Is that Shakes? As you turn and see him, yes. It looks like Shakes from uh, from Neo Taurus. And he's he's waving you over. Uh, that's who we're looking for, folks. Thanks. He's, so he's waving you over. What do you do? I'm going to walk over, over to him. There, yeah. Okay. Didn't know if you wanted to pull your weapon or something to shoot him in the head or kill him or, you know, no. whatever. No. Okay. Just making sure. So as you uh, as you approach, he kind of slinks out from behind the dumpster. Hey, I recognize you guys. You're, um... Uh, what was your names? I don't think you ever gave them to me. Um, That's I recognize you from Neo Taurus, though. Yeah, we're looking for you, Shakes. I don't forget faces. I'm really good with memory things. Yeah. Hmm. You were looking for me? That's good. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't looking for you. I wanted to make sure you didn't go in there. Uh, isn't that the black market? Yeah, well, um, normally I man the entrance, but, um, well, it's a bit dangerous, as you can see. 
what happened? Uh, well, there's some rogue rat folk that, uh, I think they wanted some of the things that were in there, so, um, well. He holds up a little sack of gold. They paid me off to go in there and, uh, take what they wanted. Mm hmm. Um, Interesting. You probably want to wait to go in there. Um, How many of them were there? I don't know, somewhere between 15 and 20. Interesting. I, I couldn't really say no, so I took the money. You know, you know how it is. Yeah, don't blame you at all, Shakes. I... What are the rules down here if you kill someone? Do you get to collect their things? Uh, it depends on how you killed them. Um, if, uh, if nobody sees it, I guess, uh, you take whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> right. But, um, you know, with those, uh, with those people, I'm sure they're splitting it evenly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I've never heard of 20 rat people being able to, rip, like, rob the, the black market. That seems like very unlikely. Well, um, you, uh, you're not from around here, are you? I mean, no, tech, I guess technically it would have been a long time ago that I was here. He raises an eyebrow. You don't look very old. I age well. It's disrespectful to ask someone's age. True. Yes. So, um, best you just don't go exploring in there. Wait for them to get finished, I'd say. Um, unless, uh, unless there's something in there that you really need. Kind of, yeah. Uh, but we were coming to you, Shake, because you were, uh, recommended. Oh, thing. by who? Someone very um, high up. Oh. Um, was it... Let me guess, don't tell me. Mm. Was it my mother? My mother sent you. I feel like if you have to ask, you're going to get on the bad side. Hmm. Then it was... Hmm. Ah. I know who sent you. My fucking dad! I tell him to get on my fucking face! Are, are you serious? I... Are you pulling my leg right now? No. <clears throat> Shakes, Who sent you? We're looking, Shakes. We're looking for an item. What do you want? The time item. Oh, I'm good with memory things. I'm good with faces. What do you need? Who do you need it from? Time tra time travel. Oh, uh, time travel. Yeah, someone down here is supposedly messing with time travel devices. We want it. Well, there's rumors of that, but um, they kind of keep that pretty on the down low. Shakes, I was told you know who has it. <laughs> Oh, I don't know everything about the black market except oh, for on Tuesdays. To on Tuesdays, I know everything about the black What'd you say? I said, I guess I might have to let Cortez know that, that you're not quite as reliable as he said. Cortez said you? Oh, um, <clears throat> well, I, I'm, I'm sure, sure I can suck. remember where this. Suck to tell him. Yeah, tell him that somebody lied to him if you don't know where this thing is. I mean. I mean, I'm sure I can remember mm. where the stone, I mean, the, uh, whatever time thing you're looking for is. The stone? The stone? The what? No, I didn't say that. The stone. The thing. Oh, I'm sure it looks, uh, like, it looks like a timey-wimey piece. Uh, probably like a screwdriver or a, or a watch or something. Oh, now you're going to lie to us. Huh? What's the stone thing, Shakes? Roll me a whatever you want in terms of charisma. You could do intimidation or persuasion. Everyone or just uh just box. Okay. Um where is it? Persuasion or deception. Uh Intimidation I guess persuade. Yeah, true. Um Shakes, either we're gonna drag you in there to show us what we're looking for, or you're gonna tell us what we're looking for. I don't think they want you in there while they're doing their looting. Okay. The 24. Let me roll for him. See how brave he is today. Not very brave, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, um, um, well, I'm sure I can, um, I'm sure I can try and help you. He kind of, like, fixes his collar a bit. He's got a crossbow on his side that he, um, kind of pats a little bit. And he says, but I'm going to need protection. Does it look like it can protect you? Yeah, we can protect you. That shouldn't be an issue. Okay. If anything goes sideways, I'm leaving you in the dust. That's fine. If you leave us in the dust, I'll find you later and cut off your toes. Roll me an intimidation check with advantage. <laughs> it's not very good, but I am being honest as well, so. Okay. Cut off my toes, you say? I kind of need those. <laughs> um. So, um. Here's the thing. Um. The, uh, the market's, uh, it's a bit of a narrow pass-through. It's, um, it's kind of like a big, um, here. He takes a, like, little pack that he's got on his side, and he puts his thumb into it, and kind of rubs his thumb around in his pack, and he starts drawing on the ground with this, um, this, like, chalk that he's got in his pack. And he draws you a very rough sketch of the inside of this place, which is... It's kind of a rectangular slash square looking pathway that goes around and kind of like, um, it like spirals inward. Um, and you kind of have to walk around it to get to the center of the, the market. Um, you recognize it from the blueprints that Korthaz showed you where he put the bombs Mm -hmm. and, um, shakes. As he takes his chalk, he puts his thumbprints on each of the spots where the bombs would be. And he said, Um, well, the plan was, uh, while these people were in there, um, these explosions were going to go off, and we were going to blame them for it. Uh, but if Korth has sent you, then I would assume that those explosions aren't happening today. Is that true? As far as we know, yes. He didn't tell you? No. Uh, we were going to blame the explosions on the, uh, terrorists. Interesting. There might still be time to do that, but... So, um, with that, he marks the spots for you. And let me pull up my thingamajig here. You guys can head over to roll 20 and I will pull up the map for you. I think we're already there. Map time. Map time, map time, map time. It's map time. He leads you into the entranceway, which is like this wooden room with a desk and um, like an entryway doorway that goes back into the market down here and um, there's a little bit of smoke coming from this from this doorway and he says you know um, really dangerous in this wooden area to uh, start fires they're not very subtle are they but there's a lot of stonework to stop the fires so they won't spread forever Oh, man. Well, I assume my payment with you is that I'm not going to die. Is that correct? I mean, I was hoping to sell some things, too, but... Nice. That's better than I thought I was getting. Yeah. I mean, I have quite a few things that I also need fenced, and uh, obviously I expect you to take somewhat of a cut from that. Well, I would uh, very much appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So... He uh, approaches the the doorway that goes into the black market, and uh, he kind of puts his hand on the handle, which is hot, and he kind of shakes his hand a little bit um, and wipes hey, it off. Before we go in there, what are we looking for exactly? There's a... It's a stone. It's, um... As far as I remember, it's in a small golden box. And, um, 
there's a specific little family of rat folk that keep it around. Um, they do a pretty good job of hiding it, though. And, uh, if they've left this place already, which I haven't seen them leave, but if they've left, uh, they'll probably have it with them. Uh, I don't think the, the people who came down here know about it. Uh, as they've done this before. And, um... What's, what's the family name? Yeah, rat folk are a bit different than you people. Um, we don't really go with, um... Like family names. We just have the individual names for each other. Um... There's Harry. Harry's the youngest son. And he usually runs the, um... The front of their little shop. Full of gems. They What's sell the all shop? kinds of gems. Gem shop. Mm-hmm. And, uh, with Harry. Along with him, usually, that shows up is his mother. And his mother's name is Teef. T-E-E-F. If they're in here, there's one of two things. They're hiding or they're dead. So, we either find them, or we find their corpses, and I'm sure we'll have the gem ne nearby. <laughs> I like it. If you guys have uh, not already on the roll 20, you may have to scroll down to, f to see the, the map. You may have to scroll down to the bottom left corner of it to see you. This is kind of a big map. And let's pull this over. There we go. So with that, he uh, kind of like does a flourish, almost like a flourishing bow. And he says, after you, happy to help. Uh, how inconspicuous do we need to be out there? Inconspicuous, um, well, the place you're looking for, um, which I forgot to tell you that he showed you on the, in like the, the chalk outline that he made. Yeah. The place you're looking for is like right in the center of the, the black market. Mm -hmm. Also, why don't you go first? I'll, I'll go first. At, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I don't want our guide to die, so I will go first. Mm. Does everyone have control That's over their fine. characters? Yeah. All right. Yep. So yeah. that's the doorway. I, I was asking, because would it be suspicious if you were riding on an owl bear, Shakes? Um, I would say it would not be suspicious. Okay. I just wanted to make sure if people would leave you alone if you were riding on top of an owl bear. Oh, they would not leave me alone, I don't think. Uh, I think okay, if any well. of these guys see me, they're going to try and kill me. Uh, 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 uh <coughs> okay. Um, I have an idea. Uh, I'm going to whip out a wand. Okay. Because uh, I have a wand of disguises. Uh, truthfully, I didn't even realize we had this until recently. Which, to be honest, I should give to maybe like Parks if he'd want it. But it's a wand of disguises. Seems way more your thing. But in this case, it'll be useful for you. You are no longer a rat folk. You are now <laughs> a but it, dwarf. But if they see us, they're going to want to kill us anyways too, right? Yeah, but I don't want them to see him and be like, oh, we need to mega kill him. I want to see us and equally want to kill all of us, not mega kill him over us. I mean, I guess. I just, I feel like, they're in there, like, raiding the place. So, like, I feel like if we see anybody, it's just going to be a fight. Maybe, but I just don't want them to focus on him. Fair enough. Which, I mean, they paid him off and he's in there now, so. Anyways, I'm going to tap him with the wand. And uh, it lets me cast this guy's self. All right, perfect. So I marked him. He looks like a dwarf right now. Cool. We got a, that's still a concentration thing, though, I think. Is it? Uh, no, I do not believe so. What, is it, what oh. does the wand specifically say? Uh, the wand is General Holland. You can uh, use an action to expend one of his charges and cast this guy's spell, self spell from it. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say anything about concentration. I think this guy's no self idea. is concentration, though. Uh, let me look. Holding. Uh, no. It is not. It is not. Okay, cool. It is not. How long does it last? Uh, one hour. Cool. 
All right. Uh, I'm also on the disguise self. I'm also going to make sure that like he has a um, like birthmark look on his face. So he's easy to distinguish. All right. For us. Hi, Jimmy. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Cool. Howdy, guys. Welcome. Oh, hi, Sorry for being a little tardy. Had to wrap some stuff up and You're good. big change of plans today. So things are a little whirlwind, but it's all good. No worries. Let me get us set up here with the cameras. Okay, we got that, that, that. We'll give you a little rundown of what's going on here in a second. If someone wants to fill them in, you can while I'm doing the oh, cameras. Here. Yeah. Okay. Um. So we decided to go down to the black market. Um. We found Shakes, who is the dude, the rat folk from Neo Taurus, as well as the person Cortez recommended. Um. He told us that he let in some raiders, which your brother was planning on using to uh, basically blame the explosions on. Um. And he asked whether or not the bombs were not happening today, so they were supposed to happen, and he never got filled in that they weren't happening. So slight worry that maybe there's a slight chance that they still go off. Um, that doesn't really stop our plans because we need to get the uh, the time. We found out that a small family has a stone that is somehow associated with time travel that we are taking shakes in there with to help us procure and find. Um, and uh, the raiders that he got paid off because they paid him to let him sneak in, um, who they were going to blame the explosions on. If they see him, we'll probably kill him. So we recently changed him to look like a dwarf with... Uh, a birthmark on his face. Does this guy self change your voice? Uh, uh, uh. Nomadic, I'm doing good. No, man. We, we, don't, we don't. We don't need to change his voice. All yeah, that I don't folks think so. sound the same. That's messed up. Oh, huh. what are you gonna do? Cancel me, DM? <laughs> All right, um, Jimmy. We are in <laughs> roll twenty as well. I got the map pulled up. Yeah, I launched him up, but I forgot to actually launch the. You're good. Boop, boop. So, um, you open the door, Zim, to the hallway that leads in here, and, um, basically, we're gonna kind of dungeon crawl this out. There's a lot of rooms that I'm going to ping to you as they show up in your vision, and you can open up those rooms if you want, um, otherwise, you can leave them shut. Um, there are a lot of fun things to find in this dungeon, being a black market, that's part of the fun of this dungeon. So, um, if you want to explore, you can. Um, just know that the longer you explore this dungeon, um, the worse the smoke is going to get and the flames um, gotcha. as those rooms are going to... Uh, different rooms that, that, are that are on fire are going to get worse on fire. That wind wall might be really useful, Nara. Oh, okay. Just right. enough FYI. Like, at some point, if it gets really bad, yeah. I think we can pop that up, because I think it specifically mentions gases and smoke. It does. So. Is it okay if I ask a little side thing real quick? Mm -hmm. before, um, yeah. So, with hitting uh, level 9, um, mm -hmm. what what did I unlock again? I think uh, I unlocked... You did unlock something, and I can't remember what Was it is. Was it Brutal unlock. Critical? Mm, I, I, I do think have so. Brutal Critical so. now. I think that's what uh, you unlocked. Yeah, Brutal Critical. So you and then... Under feats, is that a new thing? Or was feet? that always Oh, there? yeah, you also got a feat or an ASI, I think. Okay. I didn't add a feat, as far as I'm concerned, unless it's piercer. Let me, let me, hang on, let me just piercer check. piercer the, the feat thing that we level added? Level 8 you get previously? a feat. Yeah, level 8 we do, not level so that's 9. what that's what I added, piercer? Okay, okay. Yep. Um, you either added so piercer at level 8, or you did it at level 4, and at level 8 you added an ASI, which is an ability score increase. You may have done that, I can't remember. Um, we'll check after the, the show. Yeah. Your proficiency bonus also went up. Cool. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. I just wanted to... You got it. Make sure I don't do things wrong. Well... All right. So, um, Zim, did you want to lead the way or did you want to let Kathrak lead the way? I'll let Kathrak lead the way now. I'd love to. All right. I'll lead the way. So Let's you've go. got control of your token and 
as a reminder, there's like this creepy kind of music that's playing throughout the whole thing. Um, so uh, you can kind of get an idea. Shakes as he's listening, his ears are twitching, and he's like, "That um, that sounds like a uh, the radio in the center room. It's uh, it's still on." Mm. Could it be a trap? <clears throat> oh, I don't like this one bit. Oh, I don't like this at all. Because if anyone's coming down here to check things out, first place they're going to want to go to is towards some sound, especially a radio. We turn that music off. We got to <laughs> shut that music off. <laughs> so, uh, like music from Deliverance. It sounds like something from Deliverance, is it? It's not. It sounds worse. It sounds worse than something from Deliverance. It sounds like some clown shit. There's like clown, there's killer clowns at the center <laughs> of this rat folk black market, and we're going to run into them. So, um, door here. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Door here. And there's a door here as well. So there's door here, door here. If you would like to check those out. Otherwise, if you move yourself forward, Kathrak, I'll reveal more of the, the hallway, which goes up in this direction up here. Uh, how far can I go? You can go, go up here, until the... Is that like, fine? Yeah, there, that gives you a good view, so... Um, again, closed door right in front of you here. And, uh, closed door here. And... Did the music just change to K Kona? <laughs> it's definitely Deliverance music. I'm not kidding. No, we just opened the door. Is that what just happened? Did it just get louder because we opened the door? Um, it's just kind of like echoing throughout the... The, um, entire place. So, um... It does, it does fluctuate in volume as the doors open and close throughout the mm. compound. Um, and with that, let me reveal this area. Polygon reveal. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. So, um... <laughs> Why did they pick this? <laughs> As you are heading up in this direction, uh, behind the potted plant in front of you uh, is actually another doorway. Um, it seems like uh, the doorway is kind of like a little bit more hidden, but it's actually slightly ajar because people are looting the place, so that's why it's easy to find. Mm. Um, and the music. These doors and these places all um, seem a bit... Um, What's the word? They seem a bit quiet. Um, and you feel like a lot has come through here already. Um, mm -hmm. the, the potted plant is knocked over. And um, while these doors are shut, there is smoke coming out of them. Oh, well, I guess uh, let's, let's get to move on, shall we? Yeah, so which way do you guys want to go? Do you want to go through a door? Do you want to go straight forward? I'm going to look back at everyone and say, you guys think is the best option here? Uh, open all the doors to see if the family's what in there. What a shakes. Shakes should know. Shakes. Yeah. You know where we're going, right? Ah, uh, I am. Um, yeah, I do. Lunch. It's um, it right. Uh, Right up in the center here. He kind of points uh, in this direction over here. Uh, like, over in this direction. I don't know if you can see those pings or not. Wait a second. Right over here. Yeah, like, in that direction, if you keep going in that direction. Uh, they could be in any of these rooms, right? They could be hiding anywhere. So we gotta check all the rooms. <coughs> Ideally, quickly. I, I think that I'm just gonna go ahead and say... We can't leave any stone unturned and just open the door on my left. So this one up here? Uh-huh. All right. And I just take action. You take action. So... Let's see if it pays off. With that, you open up this door. Which leads into kind of like a bed chamber slash little shop area. And inside, as you as you open the door, there is a 
um, rat folk that is like flipping the beds over and this far bed over here on the the left this far one over here is on fire um, he's flipping over these these beds he's got like a mask over his face like a breathing apparatus and uh, he flips around as you open the door and lets out a like a <laughs> and pulls his weapon on you um, Kathrak you'd be here uh, he's going to run up and swing at you as you open the door with his dagger. And it's going to be a 22 to hit. Thrak or three points of piercing damage, minimum damage. And oh, as he stabs you, um, he's he goes in for another stab, but it's your turn. Um, what would you like to do? I'm just gonna fight back. All right, go uh, ahead and roll whatever attack you'd like. I don't think I need to really do much of a um, rage or anything, so uh, I'm just gonna do a standard attack. All right. Oh, unfortunate miss. Yikes. Um, we're gonna let Zim go. Zim, you're next in the the marching <laughs> order, so I'll let you go next. That's my but first roll of the day. <laughs> did did he attack? Doesn't he have like multiple? Oh, you attacks? get mul you get one more attack. Yeah, that's true. Oh, right, right, yeah. Okay, let me just do a second one. Uh, I forgot. I have this. I have a dusk crusher. Can I use that as my second attack? Yeah. I'm cool. Give it a go. Why the hell not? All right. Nice. Okay, so with Dust Crusher, go ahead and roll the damage. It's a 23 is definitely going to hit. I think that's the Maul, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. This is my first time using it. Like. All right, so, so I'm going to assume you're one-handing it mm -hmm. for 12 damage. And as you hit the, the Rat Folk, he kind of like... <laughs> and keels over from the 12. Oh. <clears throat> The room Wait, is, is that, on fire. Is that the it seems that... like he was looking for something in here. I'm going to hold up the weapon and be like, Damn! <laughs> this thing packs a punch! Nice. Oh. Killed him. The Those fire is raging room. in this room. It's about to be kind of consumed. Uh, we should check uh, the room real quick. Do we have any uh, abilities to get rid of this? Does anyone have anything? Uh, whip? Have right. the, I mean, do we need to? Should we just check it real quick, or do I need to waste my? Spell I, I'm, I think we wait on the spell, check it real do quick, we? and uh, okay. This is the bed that's on fire. It's currently spreading to this bed over here, and the whole foot, the floor is made of wood. So, can we just do like quick investigation? Mm -hmm. So, uh, anyone who would like to roll an investigation check, go ahead. Quick, okay. quick, quick! Let's go, let's go. My guys, uh, having some trouble today. All oh, right, gotta move. Nara and Pox, as you kind of dive throughout the room looking for stuff. Give me one moment. Hot, hot, hot. We gotta go, we gotta go. Hmm. You find... Uh, underneath one of the beds, you find a dead sprite, which is kind of like a fairy inside of a clear glass bottle. And mm. uh, it's like surrounded by this like ooze. Uh, it's underneath one of the beds. And uh, whoever wants to grab that can, we'll say, we'll say Pox, you find that one. And mm. um, Nara, inside, underneath the bed that you're looking at, you find in the mattress sheets you find this glass orb filled with water and it's got a goldfish inside, but the goldfish is like, it's like a clockwork little robot that's like swimming around. It kind of looks at you cur curiously and then swims around in its little glass ball. Oh my God, how so cute. Okay. And that's what you guys find in this room. Okay, close the door onwards Grab quickly. the sprite, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so you guys are gonna have to mark those down in your notes or your yeah. inventory they're not something you can just add to the D, &D beyond character sheet all right um so 
Are we waiting for other people's movement, or are we just um, kind of going? If everyone's, like, uh, passing to you, then you can make your next move. If anyone wants to so do Keith, anything, they can. Here, Otherwise, can... there's a door here. There's the secret door back here. Yeah, I'm going to wait for the crypt track. Okay, if it's cool with you guys, I'm just going to keep busting doors open and facing whatever's right in front of me. All right. Mm. So oh. you're going to pop open which door next? This uh, bottom one? Yeah, whichever one's right there. All right. Oh. Reveal. Seems like time is of the essence, so I think it's rack is just like pop, pop, pop. Let's yeah, this is, this, come is, on, come on. this should be kind of a pretty cool little dungeon because you're just popping things open, like seeing what's mm -hmm. inside, kind of thing. Yeah. So like the next it. room is similar in that it has beds that are on fire. Uh, in here, you see two rat folk. One that is. Uh, Similar to the one you saw before, kind of dressed in this like leather armor, um, has a dagger. The other one has a crossbow. Um, the one with the dagger is like lifting up these beds, looking in between the sheets for things. Um, the one with the crossbow aims it at you as you open up the door and screeches. Uh, can I? <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I yell something? Yeah. I want to like I want to I want to pop my head in and see the two, and I want to yell. Hey, what are you taking out of that out of that guy's pocket? And I point to the rat folk behind the one with the crossbow. Okay, uh, move your character like here up above Kathrak so that you can see into the room. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you I guys can like... move your characters, and then um, we'll put Shakes here. All right. Um, roll me a deception check. Okay. Uh, they're going to roll, and they're oh, going to make the, this the attack with disadvantage advantage. now, because they, uh, believe your lie is the one rat folk turns to the other rat folk, and he fires his crossbow without thinking about it. He's going to roll a disadvantage. <laughs> uh, it's a 12 to hit Kathrak, which I believe misses. Does. Um, I need... <laughs> the chaos ensues. We'll have Pox and Shakes roll me dexterity saving throws with advantage as the crossbow bolt goes by them. So you guys oh, can wait, go, so it went past me towards them. Oh, go no. Dexterity saving throws with advantage, so... Okay. And then Shakes will roll. He also got a natural 20. Nice. Okay, so the crossbow bolt goes flying by, hits the door behind Shakes, and... I just imagine uh, all of us leaning back. Yeah. Matrix style, back to back to back. All right. Um, here, we're going to let Pox uh, go next. So, um, Pox, do you have an action you want to take with these two? Eldritch Blast. I'm gonna right. try and hit uh, both of them with like each, like one. Each one gets one. Each. Okay. Yeah. The first one's gonna hit. The second one's gonna hit. Go ahead and roll damage for both. All right. So the first guy with the dagger, as he's going to throw it at Kathrak, dies from the Eldritch Blast. The second one gets hit and lets out that screech with the crossbow. <laughs> and that's gonna bring us to uh, Zim. Uh, uh, okay. I am going to, uh, I'm just going to shillelagh. Okay. And, uh, walk up and kill. We'll smack the, try to smack All right. Thing. Go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, just. It's, uh, 21 to hit for eight bludgeoning damage as you bring your weapon across. You smack this guy and it just bursts his head like a watermelon leaving this room open for you guys to investigate. Okay. I'm going to quickly look through. I will investigate. All right. Quick, if quick, you're quick. investigating, move yourself into the room. Bro, why is... Dude, I, this smoke's... Oh, God, the smoke's in my eyes. Guys, you guys got to look at this. I don't see anything. It's this music. I can't smoky. think with this music. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be disorienting. Makes you spend longer in the shops. All right. Um, is that everyone's investigations? Let's see. All four. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like we're um, in the perfume aisle of that SpongeBob episode. And remember when they have to run through and other people are spraying the perfume at them and they're like, Ugh, uh. yeah. Um, <laughs> you find a single cow trap. Uh, so a single like um, metal thing that you throw on the ground and if somebody steps on it, it hurts really bad. Hmm. So like a bear trap, trap almost. Kind of, but it's just, a, it's more like a, like, if you've ever played with jacks, it's more like a metal jack that, it's, it's like a Lego. It's like a Lego. Oh, okay. Somebody okay. steps on, but really bad, that gets stuck in their foot. 
and bleeds. Ow. Uh, but it's made of bones, actually. It's made of bones. Oh. Uh, and that's what you find with those shitty investigation checks. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, that is it for rooms here, although, um, Pox and Zim, actually, everyone can roll me a perception check while they're in here as well. Oh, finally. Nice. I went into, like, the zone. I closed there my you eyes go. and just perceived with my mind. All right, looking around, Kathrak, you see that there's another secret door right here. It uh, seems to be untouched by the looters. They don't seem to have noticed it. I noticed it, so I'm going to open that. Okay. Go ahead and move your character to here. Oh, it's inside the room like that? Yeah. And... There is a little hidden room in here with nobody in it. Um, there are boxes and a little alchemy table at the back and some books on a bookshelf. Um, and that's what you see with a with a peripheral glance. There's no light in here, so you got to kind of light it up a little bit. Somebody's <laughs> got a torch or if they just have dark vision, that'll work too. Uh, do I have dark vision? Or the light cantrip would work. Shake says, uh, oh, I, think, I see you uh, See you found one of the secret rooms. <laughs> I think you do have dark vision, but I can, I, I'll cast dark vision on myself too. Okay. Um, I have dark vision. I don't know. Am I the only one? I don't know. Where do I t tell again? Where would it be? It would be uh, under features underneath. and traits, and then you'd scroll yep. all the way down in features and traits, all the way down to the bottom um, to where it says racial features and see in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a... Dark vision. Nice. Okay. Uh, should we move our characters into the room? Yep. If you want to explore the room, move your character into the room where you would like to explore and then roll your investigation check. I'm going to go around the back here. Please, please, please. Eh, not bad. Hawk, did you want to go in there? We chef. I also have dark vision. 150 feet, chef. God right. bless these fucking rolls tonight. All right, so <laughs> everyone go ahead and roll you. your investigation checks for wherever you're standing, and that'll be the spot that I give you loot from. Uh, I'm in the bathroom, but I rolled a 20. Nat, 20. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, you don't believe me? You're, you calling me a liar? Mm -hmm. I ain't calling you a truther. I ain't calling you a truther. <laughs> I'm just very confused why you have dice I want to binge watch that show. Said you said perception, sir? Uh, investigation for, like, stuff to find. Unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Um, Kithrak. I meant I rolled a nat one. Kithrak, you find an old key uh, in the bookshelf there. Uh, looks and like an old me, brass key. Let me add that to my inventory. And then, Nara, you find a small packet filled with pink dust in one of those uh, crates. Oh. Anybody got a dollar? Dollar? Yeah, I'll line it up. Oh. <laughs> uh, a small packet dollar. filled with pink dust. Um, it's got the symbol of like a... Um, like the, the packet has a symbol of an ox on it. Okay. You mean who's got a bill? And this is a big secret room, so... Um, there's one thing that you guys get here that's like you like you just get for being in the room like you just get for going in yeah. and um, that is a old mummified hand on this table that's over here hmm. and it has a faint magical aura to it old mummified hand Roger Yep. It's not one of those cursed monkey paws, is it? Uh, Find out later sure. when I identify it. All right, uh, and that seems to be it in this room. Um, well, let's hurry up. From what you see. Keep going, keep the rock. All right, Sorry, shakes. Just writing out old brass key. Found 
Yep. In black market. Yep. Here we go. Shakes lead you to the next opening, uh, which is that hidden door behind the potted plant. Go, go, Kathrak. Uh, so do I go like right there? One moment. Let me get this right. I feel like there's a song that would play like when you're waiting in line for the log ride. <laughs> the log ride, yeah. Disneyland. All right. The next section has been opened up for you. Um, inside here. It looks like a, a place where people have done some, uh, like, um, lounging, a little bit of eating in here. Um, there looks like to be some food that's still on the, um, like, on the tables that is, like, still steaming. Um, at the back of the room, these crates are on fire, the very back of the room. And when you open up this area, this door, uh, you see at the very back, there are three... Um, rat folk with their crossbows. One of them is staring into what looks like a room here. Um, the other two see you all come in, and they're gonna fire off two crossbow bolts. The first one is a 17 to hit Zim. Ah, uh, that does not hit me, I believe. Nope, does not. 18. Okay. And the second one is a 18 to hit Kathrak. Ooh! Owie! And that's going to be a total of 10 points of piercing damage. And I one hit deep. And from here, um, I believe... See, I don't want to roll initiative every time you guys enter a new room. Do you so want I'm us to just roll one initiative for the entire dungeon? Mm. Or, or at least large sections just be, of the dungeon? Should we just do it based on kind of like... You do it by door expect order. to be charging in first? Yeah, or, um, I also I think know. that, like, Naro would be smart enough to be, like, knocking an arrow every time you go into a room, like, waiting. Yeah. As right, well. that's kind of true. You would hope that I would be smart enough. But... So, um, <laughs> well, we're Nara hasn't alert. gone yet this dungeon, so I'm just trying yeah. to keep track of it in my head. So we're gonna let Nara go. You can make a shot okay. on either of these two that you can see in the back of the room. Alright, I'll shoot the one closest. Alright, you can go for this one here in the center. 25 is going to hit. Go and roll damage. All right. 13 piercing as the first arrow sinks into the rat folks chest slash stomach area. You got another attack here. Okay. Natural 20. Uh, nice. That's going to kill him, but you can roll Damn. damage if you want. That's Literally definitely going to kill him. Can, I, can, it, that one either. can it go through the other one? Can it go through him and hit the other one? Mm, they're not standing in front of each other like that. Um... That would have been a cool trick shot. That would have been a cool trick shot, I would say. Um, Maybe it gets blood in one of their eyes, though. <laughs> I... Let me roll. <laughs> I like that idea. All right. As your arrow flies through the air, like zoom, it goes through the rat folk's head that you are firing at. Um, and it just it falls slumped to the floor. But as it goes through the head, um, it does like kind of burst some blood out from where its head area is. And uh, gets into this rat folk's eye over here. Nice. Yeah. What did I say? I slung my arrow Angelina Jolie style. There you go. The curved arrow. <laughs> curved the curved arrow. arrow. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, like the so, thing in uh, Guardian uh, of the Galaxy where he like controls that little. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Yondu. Yeah, that that thing's broken. Way too overpowered. But they killed the character off. Spoilers. Bro. <laughs> um, Nara, you. Uh, you can move into this room if you want, or you can move wherever you like before we move onward here to the next person. All right, next up we got Kithrak. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to charge in. All right. Let's go, baby. There is kind of like a little bit of fire here on these crates. It's, you're going to have okay. to take some fire damage if you're going to run through it. Uh, I can't just like path. trample over the dead one right in front of me. Uh, the dead one is back here against the wall. Oh. Um, I don't know if it is it different for you guys. 
Uh, I see three lined up together. Yeah, there's like three lined up at the back, and the fire is kind of like encompassing this middle oh, area here weird. in between. I see, I see. I see one of the. How do I ping? Uh, mm -hmm. hold, hold left. Click and hold. I see one of the rats right here. Oh, you're just lagging behind. I refresh. Uh, yeah, refresh and roll twenty. That should fix it. That's why I was curious, cause like, um, it was right in front of me. Thank you for the gift sub to Howdy Wordy, by the way. Yeah, yeah. He's a longtime friend. All right. Okay, so... I do... Mm, I'm trying to think. How, what What's fire damage usually like? Uh, right? It's usually pretty tame unless you're standing in it. Uh, I have a gun. You do. Um, you could also jump over to the dead space. So you're not. You could try and it. jump as well. Like, she I'll wouldn't even need to try. Is that you wouldn't even need to try. Check? You wouldn't even need to, need to try. You could jump over that that five foot gap Ooh. easily if you have a running Ooh. star. I was running. <laughs> yep. And then uh, you got two two targets. One of them's kind of like half blinded over to your right. The other one to your left is um, just realizing that you're showing up here because it was distracting. I will attack the one that is not blinded because he's probably more of a threat. All right. So, go ahead and roll your two attacks. Let's do it. <clears throat> Start with my brutal claw. Twenty-three. Yep. All right. Damage coming through. Boom. All right. Four with the first four. hit. Get another right. attack. I'm gonna bring out the dusk crusher. See what we can do. All right. Twenty-one's gonna hit. Roll damage. Coming in hot. Boom. With 11, you bring that across and hit him with the Dust Crusher, which bashes the armor in, but doesn't quite kill him. <laughs> He's hurting for certain. Oh, actually, no, it just kills him. My bad. It just kills him. Shit. My bad. All right. So you've got one, one left in this room, which is going to take us to uh, Pox's turn. Take him out. All right, oh. 19's gonna hit, go and roll damage. 14, so close. You hit this one with the uh, the Eldritch Blast. It does sink in and the, the creature falls to one knee, but it's not quite dead. Um, you can feel free to move if you want, Pox, and then Zim, you're up. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Sorry, I can only go 25 feet. Uh, good. Doo, doo, doo. I'm going to use the Wand of Magic Missiles on this one. Okay. And I'm going to use one of the charges. All right. So. That's going to kill him. You got it. And that leaves you guys this room, uh, which is starting to kind of catch fire, but its its floor is made of stone, so it's much harder to catch fire. That said, um, the wall that is over here is made of wood. So, seems like it's kind of spreading in that direction. Um, again, you see some crates, some tables. Everyone go ahead and move yourself to a spot in the room, and then do your investigation check, and I will allow you to grab anything from wherever you're standing. These boxes by me were on fire. Are they just yeah. like toast now? Um, they are on fire. It doesn't mean that the stuff inside is totally ruined. Got it. All right, I'll I'll take these boxes over here. Um, does somebody want to take the other side of the room? Yeah, just everyone Looking move yourself around? to where you want to investigate, and then you'll find items depending on where you're at. Well, here I am. All right. Investigation. Everyone's cool with where they're standing? Yeah, unless you guys want to change. I think so. All right. So that is going to... Let's see here. 21, 14, 16, 9. All right. 
Uh, Kathrak in the um, boxes that are on fire, you find a metal urn <laughs> that has the ashes of someone in it. Okay. Uh, Nara, you find a uh, mask that's made of alabaster. You know what alabaster is? Yep. It's an alabaster mask. Uh, it's kind of in the shape of like a creepy looking bird. Um, roll me a history check, Nara. I found an urn, but what did you describe it, it as? Had the ashes of someone dead in it. God, I am banging wow, Nara. out these Nara, rolls. This alabaster mask with like this bird shape to it um, reminds you of a, of someone you may may not have thought of in a long time. An old friend who used to wear this mask to kind of help cover up his face a little bit. He was a shy little guy. Um, this looks like Squelch's mask. <gasps> oh my Bro? god. Bro? Hmm. This looks like Squelch's mask. It looks y'all. exactly like it. Interesting. Ah. Uh, Zim with a 21. You find a brass orb. So it's an orb, it's made of brass, and it has these like Nordic looking runes on it. Yep. And then Pox with a 16, you find a bright green feather that kind of shimmers as you show, like showed up to the firelight. Okie doke. Yep. Keep moving onwards. All right. Uh, there is a room here there is a give me a second here zoom in a little bit so i can find the doorways correctly there's a door next to pox here that goes inward towards the um like kind of area where you guys are trying to head the center room Mm. um and then those look like the only two doors out of this room. Can I peek the next room? So the door here, you want to peek it? I'm going to peek it. Um, roll me a stealth check. I'm peeking it. Stealthing. Peeking. Stealthing, peeking. Okay. I'm peeking very stealthily. I'm peeking so in stealth mode. Pox Engaged. is opening the, uh, the doorway here to... Mm-hmm. The kind of center room pox as you kind of peek through everyone. I would assume you're kind of watching behind pox. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah, you're not doing that. I- I'm where I am. Okay, everyone, move yourself to where you want to be in the room while pox is opening. I'm the peeking. Door. Okay. Um. So pox with a four as you're going to open the door, um, oh. and you're you're like just kind of. It swings out towards you, I should say. So that's the first thing I should tell you: is it, it comes towards you, not away from you. So can it I, opens. Can I, can I be? Can I be on guard? Inward. It's a pull, not a push. Oh jeez. It's a pull. Oh gosh. Oh no. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You can be on guard. Um. As you're opening the door, Pox. Um. Your. Your um. Sh- like your strength to open the door is met with equal and greater strength on the other side as it slams the door shut. Um, and you hear some voices behind. And as you open that door, the music got really loud because that, that seemed to be the center room. Uh, am, I, am I able to do any kind of uh, check to like see if I can uh, put one of my weapons, like my claws, like in the door before it shuts? Or did it just happen um, super quickly? This one just kind of, because with the four stealth check, they kind of... They, they saw it, it kind of coming. They heard it coming, and they, they shut the door. Um, but you hear some voices. They all seem to be preparing on the other side of the door. You actually hear quite a few footsteps on a wooden floor behind the door. Um, it may not be smart to open this door right now. Um, Check the other door. Based on door. what you're hearing. Mm, okay. Zim, peek the other door. Uh, do you want to you wanna go check the other door? It's fine. Or I could turn into an owl bear, and we could go in that door. <laughs> What's the other door say first? Okay, let's go look at the other door. Just a quick pick. Just a quick, quick, quick I'm, I'm going to look in the other door. All right. 
You open up the other door, go ahead and move your character to this doorway here. Everyone go ahead and move yourself where you want to be in this room. That's fine. I'm going to kind of stay by the door just in case. All right. Okay. So as you open up this little doorway, this little light of mine, uh, the inside of this room is small and it looks like a little storage area. Uh, inside here, you see a couple of um, like rat folk people that are hiding. Um, I actually don't have a, like a token for them, um, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to put a, uh, a little mannequin token here. Um, so you see two rat folk people just kind of hiding in here. Um, they look like a, a young man and a equally young woman. They look like they're maybe in their mid-20s, um, and they are kind of cowering in the corner a bit. Oh, uh, 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 um, <clears throat> hi, <laughs> hello, uh, um, <clears throat> please don't kill us. Do you oh, know no. another way out? We, we have no intention of killing you, don't worry. Um, would you happen to be Henry? He kind of shakes his head. That was the name we needed, right, Fox Henry? Yeah, Henry or Teeth. Um, it was not Henry. It was a rat thing. Her Harry. Harry, Harry. It was Harry and T. Harry and T. We were told to save Harry and T. Is that you? Teeth. No. You know where the gem shop is that Harry and Teeth run? Um, they both kind of like look at you all and then look in the direction um, that you guys were going to head before the door got shut on you. And they're like, they point in that direction. Okay, yeah, okay. no problem. We're, like I said, we're not here to hurt you. Um, Quick question. Is there another way out through this this room? This room they nod their this head. little back storage? They nod, they their, nod head, their head. Um, but yes. the, the, um, like the, the female seems to be holding on to something that's too big to get through the doorway. Uh, and she's like, she's like keeping it behind her. Can I perception check it? Sure. Can we just move it? I don't want to be rude. You can roll a perception check. They're um, on the way. She seems to be hiding here, like they're gonna burn to death. There's like a coffin here um, that she's like hiding behind her back. It's not. It's like not a very big coffin, but it's big enough where it can't fit through the the door. Uh, you're not the gonna be able to door? fit the coffin through the door. Um, they they point towards the door that was like their other way out, uh, and they couldn't get through it with this valuable item that they have. Um, they could make it through this door you're standing in. But they could not make it through this other door that's like smaller next to them. But we can make it through that other door? Yeah, you could easily. Okay, so we need to tell them, hey, you guys got to get out of here. The, the way is clear. Just go back through the doors to the exit because this whole place is on fire and that other door is about to crack open with bad guys. So you need to hustle now. Quick, go, go, go. They nod their heads and they head out through the, the um, yeah. direction you tell them to. Are they just carrying a coffin with them? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What's in the coffin? Um. Just crack it open. No time to explain. Is it nail? Ah, 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 ah. Let me see in the coffin. I want to roll, just uh, see uh, roll a persuasion check. Unless you're trying to intimidate, then roll intimidation. All right. Persuasion 13. Uh, let me roll for them. Um. Important body. In the coffin. Not a body in that coffin. There's something valuable in there. Whatever. Fine, fine. Give him one. Give him one. Thank him. The uh, the woman opens up the coffin, and inside you see a bunch of beautiful looking daggers. Nice. Um, and uh, she tosses one towards you guys. Yo. Okay. Hurry up and get out of here. Okay. Uh, you allow them to Check leave. The which leaves you with this one you can add to your inventory, whoever grabs it. I'm assuming Pox has it. Yeah. What do we got? A second here. Doom, 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 doom. Let's go with this. You have a Let's 
This is called a Dagger of Venom. Dagger of Venom. It's a plus one dagger. You can use your action to cause a thick black coat poison to coat the blade. The poison remains for one minute or until an attack using this weapon hits a creature. That creature succeeds or needs to succeed in a DC 15 constitution saving throw or take an extra 2d10 poison damage and become poisoned for one minute. Nice. You can do that once per day. Damn. Uh, cool. So who got that? Pox. Uh, Pox picked that one. It was called yeah, Dagger yeah. of Venom, and you can add that to your inventory. That's a like a nice official D and D item. I go see. What's behind the other door that they were in the room they were in? Um, are you guys gonna pop it open? Uh, yeah. Can we search the room and then pop it open, or did yeah. we already kind of search? You it? have not searched we this searched room yet. Oh, that. You notice some gardening tools and seeds and things in here. Um, go ahead and roll me investigation checks, everybody. Move yourself into the room where you want to investigate this this room here. If you want to investigate, I'm gonna stay by the door. Okay. I'm kind of on guard. You got it. All right. Um, Zim, with an 11, you find a um, small pyramid of black incense that smells really bad. Uh, like, sickening. Um, Nara, with a 12, you find a set of pipes made of bones on one of the, the desks in here. Oh, wait, no, sorry, that's Pox. My bad. Pox gets the set of uh, pipes uh, with the bones because uh, he's at the desk. Uh, sorry, they're at the desk. And uh, Nara, you're by the seed bags. So you get, with a 12, you get a small wooden box with three beans in it. They look special. Special beans. Okay. Sounds good. We're going to open up the door then. All right. Everyone, you, you got to make sure you're marking that stuff down because I'm not keeping I'm track of it. I'm writing my stuff down. Yeah, so if you pick something up, you got you to gotta mark it down for yourself. All right. Opening the next door, is that correct? Yep. Uh, it opens from where Nara's standing, so you'd want to swap spots with Nara. Nara, trade me spots, please. Okay. Go, go, gadget, open door. Yep, I'm getting <laughs> there. It's a big room. Very good. All right. As you open this room, it seems like a little greenhouse um, with these small, like, sections up at the top that are like um, storm drain exits. And you can actually see a bit of sunlight coming through here. Uh, a little water is coming through the storm drains. They're above these plants. So the storm drains seem to be watering these plants with, like, rainwater. Uh, and you can see <laughs> out through the storm drains to the street above. Uh, and this is where it seems the uh, smoke was coming from from earlier as this entire room is uh, pretty deeply on fire. Um, it seems like someone has set it on fire from a small exit on the back. Um, so where where you would normally leave this room is over here. Uh, kind of uh, right here. There's like a, a small wooden exit. Mm -hmm. uh, but this entire like half of the room is on fire. So I'm going to draw that for you. Uh, let's see, freehand, red. So this like entire part of the room is on fire. Oh, okay. Which include the includes the exit. Where is water coming from? Um, water would come from the um, storm drains here, uh, like above here, and uh, there's another one that kind of is like right above these uh, these plants here. Okay. So they seem is to have set not? up this room as like a place for um, making plants, putting plants down here. And they look like special plants. Um, is, uh, is the wall made of stone? 
Uh, these walls are, uh, these ones over here are made of stone. Oh, good. Um, I want to do something I think is going to be kind of cool. Um, where is this? Do I have this spell still? Oh, JK, I got rid of the spell. Bad day. I'm very sad. Okay, never mind. JK. Okay. I was gonna, I was gonna stone shape it to make water come in, but I, I got rid of the spell. Ah. Yeah, Unlucky. so there's no water coming in right now because there's no rain. So. Oh, that makes sense. Makes um, sense. Okay, uh, I'm going to quickly search this area and then... Okay, everyone uh, who wants to be in this room searching, find a spot that's not in the red and search. Unless you want to stand in the red and search. If you do, there might be something over there, but you're going to take some damage. I think at this point, the curiosity gets the best of me. I want to go in. All right. Can I, can I make that distance? Yeah. All right. Whee! This is more and, about having fun than it is, you know, mechanics. Okay. Here. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to break since I have a high health pool. I'm going to tell everyone I'm going to go into the red. Ah. All right. I'm going to go right there. All right. So, um, I don't regret it. Everybody roll me their investigation checks. All right. I think I've rolled nine like three times. <laughs> Classic. Okay, so Zim, are you searching that desk? Is that why you're standing yes. there? Yes. Okay. So you find... Uh, you find a silver badge in the shape of a five-pointed star that says Sheriff. Uh, Pox, on those plants there, you find a... Uh, a plant that seems to be planted in gunpowder. It's like a small potted plant planted in gunpowder. It looks ripe for the picking. I pick it. All right. Kathrak, over in the fire, you're going to take 10 points of fire damage. And Worth. you find a... There's a, like a plant that seems to be moving. Um, as you're approaching, it's a small... Um, like, a, again, a small potted plant. Uh, this time it has, like, a sun... It's like a sunflower, but it has, like, these little vines coming off of it. And it's, like... As you're approaching, it kind of, like, covers its face. It seems to be hiding from the fire. And it makes, like, a little... <coughs> noise. Oh, I gotta help my boy out! Okay. So you're gonna grab that pot? Yeah. All right. You grab that pot, and you re recover it from the fire. Nara. You find... A small silver skull that's the size of a coin. GP. Over there in the corner. All right. Let's go ahead and mark those things down. Um, as you recover this plant, uh, it seems as though it is thankful as it kind of like bends over from its pot and hugs your forearm. And makes a little crooning noise. And is this a named thing or is this a custom? Uh, this is a custom little guy. Right, what should I call it? He does special things. A live plant right now because it's a pet. Uh, so it's I kind just... of like a sunflower. Yeah, it's like a sunflower. I'm just call it the sentient sunflower. It does have a little face too. Dude. All right. And that's what you guys find in this room. The fire seems to be kind of spreading in your direction. Okay, um, let's get out, please. Okay. Um, there may be another way into the middle room, uh, but you may have to backtrack a bit to try and find it. Oh, I suppose we missed a secret door in here. Okay. So everyone uh, go I'm ahead gonna, and move I'm yourself gonna... where you want to be. Seems like uh, Zim is heading back to the secret room that you guys found back here. Specifically, I'm looking for a keyhole, maybe. Okay. Old brass key. All right. right. Um, roll me an investigation check, Zim, with advantage, because you kind of know what you're looking for. Wow. Uh, yeah, you find a you find a wooden door that's kind of melted into the wall, almost blending in. 
Um, and uh, it seems like the brass key that Kathrak found goes there. Okay. Uh, Kathrak, that key. It's over here. We need to rush in as soon as you open it. Uh, I would say Nara and Pox prepare to cast spells at evil things that are going to shoot at us. And I will run in and turn into a bear and eat things. Okay. Um, everyone's moved into their position. Where do you guys want Shakes? I'm going to put him uh, here. Shakes. Yeah, just sign. Stay back while we kill things and don't run away. He thumbs up. <laughs> um, Kithrak, you're putting the key in, so that would mean you would probably need to stand here. All right. As you put the key in and turn it, the wall kind of makes like a thump noise and some dust comes down. And it opens up a room. Is this the review? What's going on here? Oh, sorry. Hold on. My bad. Oh, I just drew on there. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Learning, learning. Give me a second. Okay. Reveal. Bada bing. Bada boom. And there you go. Uh, you find another room in here. Um, this time, uh, you see that there's like some smoke and even some like splattered blood coming from underneath the exit to this room. Uh, it looks like somebody was dragged out of this room like <laughs> near where the exit is which is um, as you can see where the little blood spatter is. So over here there's like a, a door with a, a golden handle and it seems like somebody was in this room and uh, got dragged out. So um, but you guys seem to be the first people who have arrived through this entrance to this room. So this like secret entrance, there's like crates in front of you that are still stacked up. You got to push them out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, can we search this room real quick? Yep. Go ahead and everyone who would like to search this room, put me, put yourself in a spot that you want to search and then roll an investigation check. Shakes also is going to search this room as well. Uh, he's not going to stand on top of anybody though. So he'll just search these crates. Oh my God. So blind today. It's very polarizing. It's either really good or really bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here. All right. So with a seven Zim, you find a uh, what looks kind of like a, a fan, like one of those fans that um, almost kind of looks like a, a Chinese themed fan, um, but it has the picture of like a cat on the inside when you unfurl it um, with a seven. Nara, you find a purple handkerchief with uh, a symbol on it of a, like, what looks like a, a flame, like a golden flame. So a purple handkerchief with a gold embroidered flame. Uh, Kathrak, with a four, you find <laughs> a empty glass vial with cobwebs in it. And it, can, does Kithrak look at that and feel like he wants to keep it? <laughs> if he wants to, it's up to Kithrak. You, you can tell me what Kithrak would think. with cobwebs. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think I get frustrated and put it back. And if anyone else wants to grab it, they can. You just kind of set it back where it belongs. Yeah. Okay. Pox with a fourteen. You find. A, um, you find another box. Is this the second box you found? I think this might be the second box you found. It's a... Uh, first box I found. Oh, is it this first box? Okay, so it's yeah, a... Yeah, found the other box. Oh, okay. So it's a small wooden box, um, but as you open it up, inside is like, um, a bed of soil, and there's a worm that's kind of like, kind of moving through the soil, and on either end of the worm is a small head. Like a small, like, it looks like a a human head on either end of the worm and it's like eating the dirt and as you finally open up the box uh, both heads look up at you and one of them goes hey shut the door hey i shut the door sorry okay you've got a, a wooden box with some soil and a, a creepy two-headed worm inside i keep them hey don't put me hey, don't put me in there. Hey, hey. as you put them in your back okay uh 
What would you guys like to do? It seems like this next entrance is into the main room. Uh, I think we're ready to... Yeah, ready to go. Ready to bust her open? Yeah. We'll do that Why next the time. Hell not? Uh, we're going to oh. do that next time. Wait, what? Frick. Okay. Okay. So, we'll leave it on a... Uh, uh, a nice note to end on. You guys have found some cool trinkets here and there. Um, the next thing that you guys will do is open that room and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, with that said, thanks everyone for being here. Thank you for the uh, tremors much. <laughs> yeah, kind of creepy. Um, we will uh, we'll pick that up next time and we'll see what happens. The, the flames are raging and uh, this place is filling with smoke. The uh, situation is getting a little worse, but... You feel like you're on the right track to finding what you need to do. It's just getting dangerous.